Okay, so the last thing we're going to do here is that we are going to create our graph and then we're going to copy and paste them into a Word document. So let's get started. Easy enough, click inside the graph, sorry, table, go up to the insert tab and we want a column graph. Now, column chart, Excel calls it a column chart, we call it a bar chart. Bar charts in Excel are the horizontal ones. I'm going to go for a nice simple clustered column to start off with. So the drama is here, you can see that it has taken all that data. Uh, test one, test two, test three, yada yada yada, all the way up to and try to include the percentage efficiency as well, which is a bit of a problem. Um, you can see down here that it has tried to include the percentage efficiencies, but they're really, really small. Um, as an easy way to fix this, just moving the chart to one side for a second, you can see if I hover over the actual table that a blue line appears here. So the blue line showing where it's taking all that data from. Now we only want the percentage efficiency, and in fact we only want the average or the mean percentage efficiency. That's easy to fix. Let's go up to the corner of this blue line, and then hold, click, and drag all the way across until we only include the mean. And there you go, we have a nice neat table. Now I'm not going to spend loads of time putting in the axes titles and the title, main title for the graph. That's for you to do. What I am going to do now though is that I'm going to copy and paste the table into X into the Word document. So I'm going to click and drag till I highlight the whole thing. I'm going to go up to copy and click the copy button. And you see the marching ants around the table. Let's go to our Word document. I've put in a couple of returns after the, the results table and the graph. Let's just do one for the graph. <coughs> Excuse me, put in a return like that. And we're ready to put in the table. So we've already highlighted it and copied it. So we're going to paste it in. And there we have our table. Looks a bit funny at the moment because the paragraph styles are shown. I'll click on that to get rid of it. Nice, neat table, which is what we want. And now we're going to copy in the graph. So let's go back to our Excel document. Let's highlight our graph and make sure you highlight the whole graph clicking on so we've got this border going around it. Uh, just press escape to get rid of the marching ants and go up to the copy button again. And that's copied it. You can't see that, but it has copied it. You go back to the Word document and click on the paste button. Give it a few seconds. Moved it to the next, <coughs> excuse me. It's moved it to the next um, row, next um, page because it didn't have enough room. There's two ways you can fix that. You can either move these margins up, there was a slightly, and there we are, it's brought it up again because the margins are a bit too much on the thick side. I'm going to bring those ones down that side as well. And the other thing that we can do as well is that we can stretch that, tape, that graph out if we want to make it nice and big so it fills up the whole page. Now again, as I said, you can fill in the, t the titles, you can fill in the axes titles. You're obviously going to need um, maybe the surface title down here and up the side you're going to need percentage efficiency. But that's it, pretty much done. Nice, neat table, nice, neat graph.